About a month ago, our Bosch dishwasher stopped cleaning dishes so well. They wouldn't get very clean, and my wife determined that the water was cold and thought that the heating element probably wasn't working. Um, I called uh, Astro's Appliance Service, a local repair place, and a guy came out and uh, spent about 10 minutes running the dishwasher and told me that he was certain that, the, that it wasn't getting enough water and that replacing the water valve would fix it and left and charged me 150 bucks. Um, I did some investigation later and was fairly certain that it was getting plenty of water because the water level in the tub was getting up to you know, maybe a quarter inch, half an inch above the bottom of the tub, which is where it's supposed to be. Um, I call, called him and I told him that I thought he was wrong and that the problem was probably the heater and he proceeded to yell at me about how long he'd been in the business and what do I know about dishwashers and refused to deal with me anymore. So I was left to deal with it myself. So I completely disassembled my dishwasher. You can find videos on YouTube about how to do it. And I diagnosed the problem and I fixed it. And I'm going to show you how to do it much faster and with a lot less effort um, if you have the same problem. So this is a 2012 Bosch Evolution 800, I believe. Um, they haven't changed a lot over the years. I suspect that modern ones still have the same problem, but I don't know. Um, I've pulled it out of the cabinet um, under this sound deadening uh, insulation layer over here. Um, there is a control unit, which is normally tucked away in here with all of these wires plugged into it. I've taken mine out. And if you open this guy up, sorry, there. If you open this guy up, there's a PCB inside, and this white guy here is a relay. Um, there were two white relays. Um, this is the other one. They are identical. And what I noticed after diagnosing that the heater didn't seem to be getting power and seemed to be fine, let me pull out the PCB, um, was two things. One, it's a little subtle, and I've done some soldering work since, but the PCB on the back side is a little bit blackened, and the green uh, coating that they put on these PCBs is a little bit discolored. And the other clue was, if you look at this relay, it looks fine. This one, which I've removed, it's very subtle. There's a little vent hole there, and it's slightly brown inside. And these relays are rated at 10 amps. The heating coil is about 10 amps. Um, the thing about heating coils is that they are inductors, and if you don't know much so a, a characteristic, it's a, it's a coiled wire, wire which has a non-trivial amount of inductance, which means that when current is flowing through it, it doesn't want to stop. And if you have a relay which opens and interrupts the current, it will arc. It'll have a spark inside with that current draining off through the, through the relay. And so a 10 amp relay running a 10 amp heating coil is not going to last very long. So I actually... Uh, tore apart the relay that was discolored and found that inside it's also kind of subtle but it's a it's a bit discolored and the contacts are pretty black um, and I actually used some fine grit fine sand, grit sandpaper and got them in between the contacts and cleaned them off and put everything back together and it's worked well that way for the last um, probably three or four weeks but probably not a long-term solution so if you have a Bosch dishwasher that is not heating, um, this is a lot less, getting to this board is a lot less work than completely disassembling it. Um, if you are competent to do these things, I would recommend taking the board out and seeing if the relay is toasted. Um, unplugging the dishwasher first, of course. Um, I did some research, and this is a notorious problem with Bosch dishwashers. Um, it's been several decades that it's been a problem 
The previous generation dishwashers, the problem was the trace on the PCB was too small and overheated from the current and the relays would desolder themselves. Um, it looks like they've beefed up the traces. There are these big ones here, uh, but they did not put in beefy enough relays. A, a 10 amp relay running a 10 amp inductive circuit is almost certain to fail eventually. So I found two solutions. Um, I ordered a replacement relay that has the exact same pins, but is rated for 16 amps. Um, I'll post the part numbers in the video description. Um, I also got a much bigger relay that is a 30 amp relay that um, does not have the same pin out. And so what I ended up doing was soldering wires um, to route the control and power signals to the larger relay. And fortunately, the, the box is, has enough empty space in it for it to fit. So that 30 amp relay is never going to fail, probably. Um, but the 16 amp relay probably would have been just fine, and it um, would be easier to solder in. So take your pick, depending on your level of adventurousness and soldering skills. Um, in any case, I have uh, put this back in and tested it, and it works great. So um, it's entirely possible that if you have heating problems, it is something else. Um, but the rest of the heating circuit is pretty simple. Um, the heating element is looks pretty robust. Um, there is a pressure switch that determines whether there's, whether there's sufficient fluid flowing through to determine if there's enough water in the tank and if the or if the pump is stalled so that it doesn't overheat um, that could potentially get stuck but mine was seemed fine um, there is also a temperature a thermostat that measures the temperature and also has a over temperature cutoff um, those are probably pretty robust i bought a replacement and uh, it hasn't done any good Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, good luck. Bye-bye.